So now let's discuss about gas lift. So what is the gas lift principle? The gas lift principle is that we're going to do gas injection through the tubing at its base and through the casing tubing annulus. So as we can see on that drawing, we've got over there the casing tubing annulus in that area over there. And we're going to inject gas in that area. And it's going to get into the tubing using that injection valve over there. So at the deepest points in the tubing. And the effect of that gas is that it's going to aerate the formation fluids and therefore get the liquid column lighter. So I try to put some figures there to, uh, to make it easier to understand. So if I take a reservoir pressure of 100 bar, and if my well vertical depth is 1,100 meter, if my fluid density is equal to 1, then this 100 bar of reservoir pressure will be uh, equivalent to a thousand meter of hydrostatic column. So once I have an hydrostatic column starting from the reservoir, going up to a thousand meter, I will have a balance pressure between this hydrostatic column and the reservoir. So in that example, we can see that I will miss 100 meter for that liquid to reach the surface. So now if I start to inject gas at the bottom of my well to aerate my fluid and reduce its density and if by doing that I can reduce the density to 0.8 then to get a 100 bar of hydrostatic pressure column I will need to have a column of 1,250 meters. So we can see that in that example, that figure is 150 meters bigger than my well depth, so my liquid will reach the surface and I will be able to produce.